Hi, hello. I'm Emerson Kington. I'm a staff administrator at the Tennessee Middle School. This is no easy to go over one of the students. Um, we're concerned, I'm also here representing the Bridging Gap campaign in Boston. I am concerned because this one generational change that has occurred, the care providers, the parents, and the environment they go home to has not been adjusted or educated about how to deal with it, right? You know, I still trophy my child with iPods, iPhones, and they have everything that I don't have. <laughs> But in you say trophy your child? What a what a wonderful I, I don't, no, I don't well I use the word trophy because yeah. I'm not saying the straight A. Yeah. Yeah. So statistically they're not matching. Yeah. Like you were used to that. Right. So as far as educating the community and the parents and the care providers for these children, yeah. That's gonna have to be an effort too. <coughs> so after you know, in spite of you know, developing the education system, how do we go after well, I, I put the question back to you, Emerson. I, I agree. Well, Go ahead. Well, some of the schools are trying to build, you know, private partnerships and non-private partnerships along with the community, right? To try to one bring the families to the schools, yeah. So that parents, I mean, they're barely signing off on the report cards. <laughs> so it's almost a man back to the mandatory day, but as well as educating the parents, you know, about parenting, about parenting. About parenting yeah. And also about what their children do. I mean, their programs with, you know, the mayor has a program with right. the computers. They right. teach the parents how to use computers, right? And they get a free recondition one after 10 weeks, I think. Right. But things like that have to be expanded and it's become common knowledge to the rest of the community. And, and some of it, I think, some of the strategies that I have seen are not that, um, they're not that, they are some. You know, the Mason School, you know the Mason School? Um, I was so impressed with the Mason School, for people who may not know, is a pilot school in Boston. And uh, when I visited it um, during the campaign, I felt like I was walking through this very education vision. Um, they, had, uh, they had three and four-year-olds in the school with early ed um, trained um, providers. They had all-day kindergarten. The school day started at, um, I think it's 8 o'clock in the morning. It goes to about... 4.30, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, the average class size, by the way, is 13 children. This is a public school in Boston. 13 children. 30% of the kids are uh, special needs, um, special ed kids, and they're in the integrated setting. They require Emerson at that school that a parent or guardian pick up every child. And the reason they require that is so that they have a touch point every day with that adult about what's going on. And, I, and the, so they get that point about involving the, the parents in the education of the of, of the kids, and that's a very that's a very low tech uh, kind of basic way of uh, of engaging the parents. I'm interested. I don't know that there's one uh, solution, but I, I I do get the point. I think we get the point about uh, building in strategies to make sure parents stay involved.